Hi everybody, this is Jerry with Survival Knots. And in our video today, we're going to show you how to use an acorn as a survival whistle. Now, you can use any type of acorn. There's a bunch of different sizes. Um, the bigger, the better, because what we're going to use is if you twist this off, we're going to use the cap. Now, keep in mind, as with any kind of survival technique, it does require some practice to get good at this. Um, but it's easy to pick up, hard to master. So what you're going to do is first we're going to set this down for a second and you're going to put your fingers with your pointer finger and knuckles together you're going to put them just like that and your acorn cap is going to sit right in between them just like that. Now with your thumbs you're going to take, put your knuckles together and put your base and then you're going to move it get adjusted to where you only want a slight bit of the acorn cap actually showing. And it works similar to the same concept as a normal whistle. Um, you're going to blow over the top of it, which we'll show you here in a few seconds. And it'll be a very, very loud whistle that you'll be able to use anywhere. You can just pick up one of these off the ground. Um, the drier, the better. This one's a little bit wet, so it's kind of flexible. But the, the drier it is, the better, and the bigger it is, the better. So now we're going to go ahead and show you how to actually whistle with this. Okay, so we've shown you how to hold it and everything, and basically you want to put your lips right above your knuckles, and then you're going to blow like you would a uh, top of a bottle. So, and it may take a couple tries, a little bit of practice, but what it should sound like is... Like I said, it takes a lot of practice to get used to it, but that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can always visit our uh, page at survivalknots.com. Thanks for watching.